Hi, hello, my name is Dev Raj. Welcome back to Bioenergetics. Welcome back to this series on body based therapy. And once again, today I wanted to pick up on like a question that I often get asked, and that relates to illness. You know, it's quite common I see when people come to workshops or they do a lot of this kind of body based therapy for a weekend or a little while. They fall into illness quite a bit, particularly illness which seems to be centered around the throat around here. You know, coughs, colds, bronchial infections, tonsillitis, stuff where it seems to just put you on your back and you can't really continue forwards until you got through it. And, you know, my experience over the last decade of, uh, you know, two decades actually of doing the work, you know, apart from just start then, apart from teaching it for a decade, two decades of doing the work is that these types of illnesses which are centered around the throat and which come when we're on this path of opening up the body and releasing the past are invariably a, a form of psychosomatic illness. And that term sometimes gets used a bit pejoratively, a bit derogatively, you know, to assume, to, to kind of infer that the illness isn't there. And that's not what I mean. What I mean by psychosomatic here is that they are related to the psychological process you're undergoing, you know. This process of cleansing, of releasing the past, you know, what happens is, is, is the mind fights back to a degree and also... There is, on one level, sometimes a coalition with infection, say the, the mind, the old part of the mind that just wants to continue the old negative behaviour says, come in, Mr. Infection, I just want to collapse for a bit. You know, I mean, I've got a good reason to have a good collapse and kind of go back down the ladder, back down the snake, you know, back down the snake and ladders kind of game back, back towards the beginning. Partly, another aspect of it is sometimes, yeah, sometimes you need to relax and, and, and let go and also in order in some way for the throat to be cleansed because you've got to realize that when we look at the average human being in western culture or really anywhere on the planet the throat center on an energetic level is blocked as fuck i'm talking 80 90 percent blocked as much as you can measure these things that's my estimation from all the people i've worked with and all the time i've spent in the group room everyone is blocked heavily around here and so when you start to open up and start to release the past, what happens, of course, is a lot of activity at the throat. Also, in many esoteric systems, they'll tell you that the throat, you know, back in the throat, is, the, is a governor organ of a, of a chakra system or the energetic system of the body. And that means that the amount of energy that can flow through your whole body, often from the base up towards the head, up towards the crown up here, is restricted and controlled at the throat. And if you unblock the throat, then more energy is generally available throughout the body. And so, you know, on, on any energetic and emotional level, the throat is incredibly important. And uh, if you start to get throat infections, if you start to get bronchial infections, I've got a bit of one at the moment. You know, I was, I was leading a workshop in Ireland over the weekend and uh, I didn't have a mic and I was wellying it out a bit here and there. And I noticed the next day my throat was kind of pulsating energetically, not physically. And, you know, there was a lot there and I was coughing and stuff like that. I know that's part of a release process, you know. I don't feel like, oh God, I've overdone it and I have to collapse. It's part of a release process. And it will be the same. It will be the same for you, in my opinion. You know, it's not a medically proven thing by any means. You know, our science hasn't got anywhere near a level where it can start to understand the mind-body connection on that level. Nevertheless, if you start to get throat infections, if you start to want to collapse from them, my recommendation is, and I'm not a doctor, and I'm not telling you to do this, my recommendation is to stay upright and keep trying to move your energy however much you can in that space. You know, I recognise very clearly in my own uh, arc of uh, movement upwards and in the movement upwards of people I work with that this tendency to collapse back is very strong. This tendency to collapse back is very strong and you need to, to a degree, take a position to show the unconscious mind, to show the part of you that's locked in the past. But you're not doing this shit. You're not doing this shit. I personally had a strong experience some years ago. I was at a, a great therapeutic centre in Holland and uh, on a residential programme there for a few months. And it was the middle of January and we, we always had to go out and play football one day a week. And, and one day I was like... I can't do this, you know, I really feel like this big cold is coming on and I need to protect myself, protect my throat. I can't just go out there and do this. 
And one of the staff said to me, you know, just go and do it and see what happens. And my mind was really like in a big negative, negative spiral about this, you know, how can I do this? How can they tell me to do this? You know, I'm going to get ill. I know I'm going to get ill. I know I'm going to get ill. This is about a decade ago. And uh, I was in this whole story. I started playing football and just having a bit of a laugh with it. And, and, and my throat was fine. My throat was actually fine. And that really created like a sea change in my understanding of particularly any kind of throat infection or throat agitation when you're on an emotional process. It's almost certainly energetic, emotional. And ideally what you want to do is keep going as much as you can, as is practical for you. Also, and the old part of your mind really won't want to hear this, have cold showers. Cold showers boost your immune system even though when you've got a throat infection, it sounds like the single worst idea you could ever follow. Give it a try. Give it a try. At some point in the journey, and it's not that, you know, let's just say this, it's not that if you succumb to the infection and you collapse down, you can't get up for three days, that you've gone right back to zero, you know? That's not the case. That's not the case. But there will be a part where your mind is kind of agreeing to have a good collapse because it is scared to keep moving up. It is scared to keep moving towards the light. You know, there is a part of our mind that is like this and constantly resistant. So uh, what was I trying to say before I said that little bit? The bottom line is, the bottom line is do what you can to stay vertical and moving during the day when you've got this throat infection going on. Don't buy too much protective bullshit from your mind. Challenge yourself a bit, you know, challenge yourself a bit. The mind will start to tell you like it did to me a decade ago. Oh God, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. I know this is going to happen. I know this is going to happen. It's all going to be go wrong and be bad. I have to protect myself and collapse for a little while. You don't necessarily have to collapse. You can challenge some of those narratives. That was, that was what I was going to say. You know, challenge the idea that you just need to collapse. You know, at some point we have to overcome a lot of these collapses, which are really just dead areas within our being. And keep breathing and moving forwards. Okay, guys. So I hope this has been useful to you to help you understand, particularly getting ill on the path. You know, you're on the it's it's tough in today's world. You know, most people are chugging along on the horizontal axis, trying to survive, trying to keep their self-image going, trying to keep it all together. And for those of you watching this video, you're probably on a more upward track, hopefully, upward track, challenging yourself, releasing the past letting go of the old stuff and uh, be aware of these illnesses and don't just necessarily collapse and if you do collapse don't beat yourself up just be practical with it okay thank you for listening feel free to like and subscribe and i'll speak to you all again soon bye for now